Topic 2, Infection Control, 28%, 28 questions. We have this topic divided into two parts, so let's start with Infection Control Part 1. This section is focusing on cleaning and disinfecting implements, equipment, work environment, safety procedures, exposure incidents, patch tests, also known as your predisposition test, strand tests, also known as your preliminary tests, skin analysis, diseases, and disorders. So next we have some hints and tricks on how to remember some of this information, just enough to assist you in doing process of elimination for your test questions. Here we have infection control, starting with the lowest form of infection control sanitation, ending with the highest form of infection control sterilization. Please make a note of the glossary terms and definitions. Here is a way to remember the order of infection control. Your new address is Sand Street. Let's take a look at the bleach information, starting with low-level disinfection. Two teaspoons of household bleach added to one gallon of water. You're going to soak for 10 minutes. High-level disinfection, you're going to add one-third cup of household bleach to one gallon of water. You're going to soak for 20 minutes. Blood and body fluid, also referred to as your 10% bleach solution, you're going to add one and three-quarter cups, and you're going to soak for five minutes. So the way I remember that is five minutes for blood and body fluid. Five plus five is 10. Low level, 10 plus 10 is 20. High level. Next, we have our implements. Please make a note of the glossary terms and definitions. Multi-use items is also known as reusable. Single-use items are, is also known as disposable. We take a look at the picture on the right here, and we see that most of our implements are multi-use. So the only one that's single-use is the cotton round. Next, we have our skin diseases and disorders. On the left, we have our primary lesions, and primary lesions, they raise, they're raised above the surface of the skin. So we have macule, papule, bulla, wheel, cyst, and tubercle, nodule, and tumor. Secondary lesions, they're piles of material on the skin surface. We have fissures, ulcers, crusts, keloids, excoriation scales, and scars. The first letters are highlighted for a reason because they spell an interesting acronym. So when you write them out, I promise you, you will never forget the secondary lesions. Continuing with skin diseases and disorders, you want to identify the disorders of the sebaceous glands. So terms like the milia, acne, rosacea, the technical term for blackheads, whiteheads, inflammations and common skin infections, so terms like conjunctivitis, dermatitis, and eczema, uh, pigment disorders of the skin, so I like terms like albinism, leucoderma, and vitiligo, hypertrophies of the skin, terms like keratoma, mole, um, and then also your acne and problem skin. So make sure you make a list of the glossary terms and definitions. Next we have the sudoferous glands. I like to remember the shorter list versus the longer list. So antihydrosis is a person that can't sweat. Bromidrosis, yo, your bro stinks. Hyperhidrosis, think of the chick on the secret commercial. She's trying to blow dry her underarm with a hand dryer and malaria ruba. If you'd like to have more content of any of the information that we covered in Infection Control Part 1, please visit Quizlet, search for Ms. G at Ogle, M-S-G-A-T-O-G-L-E, under classes COS TDLR and COS TDLR Exam Prep. And for Kahoot, if you want to know your right instantly, search for Hashtag TDLR written prep. Again, that is TDLR written prep. Next, we have infection control part two.